So you may remember earlier today during uh, the uh, maintenance uh, video where I mentioned something about how the dailies happen to be mostly revolved around animals in the game. And uh, yeah, like I didn't see this happening, an issue that would arise from the Red Dead Online community. And let's just say the uh, Thanos here, my boy Thanos, pretty much explains how I feel right now. Oh yes, Rockstar. Rockstar support. We are aware of player reports of low animal counts in Red Dead Online while playing in certain sessions. We are currently working on a fix and we'll provide an update as soon as we have more information. Let's go read the article. Like I said, I'm going to enjoy this very much. Low animal counts in Red Dead Online. Question, why do some sessions have very few animals spawning? Rockstar's reply. We are aware of players' reports of low animal counts in Red Dead Online while playing in certain sessions. Like most sessions, we are currently working on a fix and provide an update as soon as we have more information. So, let's get this all sorted out, shall we? They're aware of this, and they're working on a fix. Because low animal counts are being reported in Red Dead Online in certain sessions. Most of the sessions? And you're only now currently working on a fix, Rockstar, to this problem. Now, you're, you have had this issue in the game forever. Forever. Case in point, I just got off of Xbox One a few minutes ago. No animals. About an hour or so earlier, I was on PS4. No animals. Fortunately for me, I had the Drink One Antique Bottle as a daily for a collector that would count as, you know, towards my streak. Now, PC wasn't such a problem because animals seem to populate the lobbies more in PC than they do on platform, Xbox One, PS4. And this is nothing new. And Rockstar, we have been sending you feedback. We have been tweeting you. We even have a petition, you know, with these grievances. One of which is revolved around the animals or lack thereof in these lobbies. This is nothing new. Almost all the comments that I get when it comes to complaining about Reddit Online revolve around two things. A, animal spawns. B, the camp not pitching properly. Both you need to do the trader roll. And six out of seven of the daily challenges today just so happen to be revolved around animals. And I had a sneaky suspicion that this was going to be a day of infamy for Rockstar. It's so ridiculous. Like, let's see, finally, it's been months and you listened. Let's see, it's not certain sessions. It's not just animals. Lobbies can only handle 15 players, more than 15. Yeah, exactly. The higher the lobby, when it comes to the population of players, the less animals. If you end up in a small lobby, say with maybe under 10 players, if you're lucky on Xbox One and PS4, guess what? Things seem to be working. Animals flourishing throughout the map. More players in a lobby, and the average lobby is at least 20 plus players. 20, 22, 26. And you can quickly determine whether or not you're going to see animals. If you're lucky, you may run across a deer or a rabbit every now and then. Maybe some ravens flying by. But most of the time, Rockstar, this is the norm in Red Dead Online, especially on platform especially on xbox one took you five months it's been 84 years it, it seriously took you all till today with a daily challenge that just happened to have six out of seven of the daily challenge revolved around animals for, for you all to realize at rockstar that there's a problem with the lack of animal spawns in the game despite the fact that people make videos about it People tweet you about it. They send you feedback about it. There's a fucking petition about it. And other issues. 
And only now, today, when so many people are unable to do these daily challenges, now enough people throughout the community are tweeting you and yelling at you about this issue. Only now, that breaks through your little echo chamber, your little bubble that you've been inside, where you guys tell each other, oh, the game's awesome, the game's great, best game ever. Only now do you realize there's a problem with low animal counts in Red Dead Online. And it's not certain sessions. It's all the sessions. Any session that has you know upward of teens to 20s uh, population-wise when it comes to players, most of the time, like I said, no animals. Or very rarely you'll see a deer or an alligator or a bird fly by. Rockstar, this is nothing new. Why are you acting like this is a new problem when it's not? You are aware of it. Have you been aware of it for the past several months? I mean, this is one of the big issues in the game. And only now you respond. See, this is part of the problem, Rockstar. This is part of the problem. Your lack of transparency. Your lack of replying to us when we're airing grievances. Everything is not awesome, Rockstar, when it comes to Red Dead Online. We, we've been telling you this for a while now. This issue, the camp issue, the need for multiple different lobby types, and to lower the lobby population in order to help with this problem. But do you listen? No. I guess our feedback, our tweets, our videos to you, the petition itself, even though it's gaining ground, it just it hits your freaking bubble and bounces off while you guys sit in your little echo chamber, you know, telling each other that, you know, the game's going great. Good job. Well done, Rockstar. So today's a day of infamy, I suppose. But in all seriousness, Rockstar, really, do you really think that we don't know that you know that we know that there's an issue, multiple issues with the game, obviously animals being a big one. And I guess it, it took today's daily challenge, which happened to have six out of seven revolve around animals to get enough people pissed off at you. I guess you were just ignoring all the other tweets and all the other videos and the petition. But today, the day of infamy, it finally opens your eyes, Rockstar. Seriously. Oh, for those of you that are trying to find a solution to this, uh, I'll give you a couple. Uh, one is going with a friend or three other players, do a legendary bounty, and forget about the legendary bounty. Just go hunting. There you go. That'll help. And uh, I believe uh, the uh, Land of Opportunity mission, Highly Immoral, what highly illegal, highly immoral, that one still works. Uh, just do like the first half of the mission where you team up and two of the players uh, go and deal with one part of the gang. The other two go to Van Horn. And once you knock that part out, don't go back to the marshal just yet. Just go hunting. Go hunting for, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, knock out the dailies. Uh, that should solve the problem. That should help you get your animal dailies knocked out, hopefully. So either a legendary bounty with you and a friend or friends, you know, four players max. The same thing goes with the Land of Opportunity missions, highly illegal, highly immoral. Those are the current workarounds for uh, knocking out the animal dailies in the game. But hooray, Rockstar's finally going to do something about low animal counts in Red Dead Online. Well, it's about time. And I'll believe it when I literally see it on uh, Xbox One and PS4. Yeah.